Hello YouTube, today I will be talking about how to make sure you make a good password that will keep your account safe and be as little likely to be hacked as possible. So the first thing you want to make sure you don't do is make sure that your password is not associated with yourself. For example, in the past I've known people to use their own name as a password, which is a really stupid thing to do because that's one of the first things that a hacker who knows you will try to use. So you don't want to use your own name, you don't want to use your birth date or anything to do with your life basically. None of your family names, uh, none of the locations that you've lived at, you or your family. You just want to make a total random password that has nothing to do with you. So that if you're targeted, if you're targeted by a hacker, they are not going to be able to find out any information and test that out if it's your password. Which they could do easily through Facebook or just through looking through your trash or stalking you for a while. <laughs> so the best way to come up with a random word is to just go onto a text document like this and then just type in some random random words and see what you get. So So there's a few random words right there. And this is the first process of coming up with a good password. Most of these words have little to do with me. So you want to pick a word out of a random list that you've just written. And if it's like a three or a four letter word, you want to combine it with another word to have a nice, a nice long word, a longer password. Because the longer the password is, the less likely it is to be hacked. You don't want to have any spaces, because spaces are bad. Uh, another good thing to do is to include numbers. So two totally random numbers, either at the end or the start, because that's the easiest to remember. If you really want a hardcore, hardcore uh, password, you could have it like this, and have numbers in between every letter because that's a lot less likely to be hacked. However, it is a lot harder to remember, so you have to keep that in mind. And if you want the hardest password there is possible to hack, it would be something like this. A number, a letter, in high case, a letter in low case, a number, another number, a letter, a high case letter, totally random like this, like it's just a total mad code, because if anyone's manually trying to hack you, they're never going to be able to get this. <clears throat> Oops. I don't think Unicode characters work. There we go, something like that. And that's pretty much the safest password you could have right there, something like that. Another good thing to make sure you do is make sure that each password for each different account is different. This way, if one of your accounts get comp gets compromised, you won't uh, you won't lose everything that you've got on all your other accounts. Because, for example, if someone managed to hack into your Facebook, I know this from experience, and they get their correct password, they might think, okay, well, this is great. Let's uh, try out that password on their email address and see if that works too. And from personal experience, I know that that has worked. So keep your passwords different to keep all of your content safe. Now you may think, how the, how the fuck am I going to remember a strong password like this for multiple accounts, let alone one account? And the answer is you're not going to. You need to keep a log. You need to keep it on a, on a piece of paper, a big list of all your accounts and all your passwords. And you need to keep that paper somewhere safe as possible. For example, in a lockbox or in a safe. And then that way, you'll have, a you'll have a load of really strong passwords for all your content, all your accounts. They'll all be different, they'll all be secure, and only you will know how to get to the password. And uh, if it's an account that you use regularly, like on a daily basis, 
eventually you'll come you'll come to learn the few passwords that you use regularly and you'll just forget about the ones that you don't use as often but that doesn't matter because you can always check them up on your piece of paper uh, things to watch out for for hackers is basically if a hacker if a hacker knows you or is researching you to try and get into your accounts they're not going to be able to do it manually if your password is code based however if your password is code based like these examples here there is a chance that the hacker will be able to eventually hack your account by using something called um, basically an automated hack which is where it sends all the different key combinations of numbers and letters as, a, as an attempt to get into your computer or your account until they eventually get the correct code. Now this can take years basically because you can only do approximately five ent entries per hour because the, the website will hopefully lock out the hacker after five failed attempts for every 30 minutes something like that. So that's a good security against automated hacking. But for complete and total safety you should change your password every month or so and then that way there is no way unless they get into your safe box and find your piece of paper that they're going to know your accounts. Another thing to look out for is fake websites. Sometimes these bastard hackers make a fake website that looks completely the same as your bank account uh, website. The only difference is it's not real. Once you fill in your details and click login, all it will do is send the information to their computer and then they'll be sat there having a wipe to get the phone and they'll just rob you blind of all of your money and they won't give a shit. So make sure you make a good password, good luck and uh, watch out for bastards. A good way to check if it's a fake website is to always check the URL before you enter any details. That's the code at the very top. And if the website looks a little bit dodgy, like the images are a little bit resized and look a bit um, like a screenshot that's been repasted, just don't trust it. It's not worth the risk. So thanks for watching and good luck YouTube. I'll see you next time.